We are living in a time of rapid and radical change. One of these changes is a shift in the role of citizens who are becoming more actively involved in the development and decision making in the fields of science, technology and innovation. The value of co-creating together and the change it brings to policies is starting to be recognized as socially desirable. Co-creation and experimentation in the context of policy making is the fundamental idea behind the Cisco project. CISCO stands for Society in Innovation and Science through Co-Design and is a three-year EU-funded project within the Horizon 2020 program. With 17 transdisciplinary partners, it explores co-design processes favoring responsible research and innovation. The project is built both on a robust theoretical background and analysis of existing international best practices and first-hand real-life knowledge from 10 action research experiments. The project relies on an analytical, reflective learning framework set up to explore transformations in projects and organizations, as well as experiment with innovative policy-making processes resulting from the interaction with citizens and stakeholders. One of the project's main activities is a mapping of existing co-creation practices and ecosystems from the local and the European level. Its intent is grasping and describing dynamics and modes of interaction that are effective in integrating society in science and innovation. To do that, the study considers the following elements. First, the different cultural, organizational, institutional and regulatory conditions under which co-creation flourishes. Second, the diversity of actors and stakeholders that favors co-creation. Third, the typologies of challenges co-creation addressed and the citizens affected by these challenges, and four, the characteristics of the co-produced solutions. Cisco aims to experiment with co-design as a new system of competencies on the basis of which capacity for implementable co-creation in responsible research and innovation and STI policy making can be built. In doing so, particular attention is paid to understanding the cultural, organizational and procedural transformations needed to embed co-creation as a design-driven approach in such areas. This requires the project to consider and address barriers and resistance to organizational change as well. Cisco's key assumption is that the combination of a bottom-up approach towards tackling societal challenges and the adoption of design methodologies can support the operationalization of responsible research and innovation. The project has three main goals. Firstly, it aims to understand the cultural, organizational and procedural transformation needed to embed co-creation. Secondly, it seeks to experiment with design in order to build new capacities for co-creation in responsible research and innovation and policy making. And lastly, it tries to investigate the co-creation ecosystems in order to describe the dynamics that are effective for the operational integration of society in science and innovation. The project methodology consists of three different interconnected parts. Desk research that draws knowledge from literature and previous projects. Field research that analyzes case studies. And finally, action research consisting in 10 real-life experiments with co-creation methodologies and tools. The triangulation of these three parts is producing guidance for co-creation and specifically for its application in responsible research and innovation. This MOOC aims at sharing the learnings and best practices developed in Cisco for their use beyond the project. Although it can be useful for anyone involved in responsible research and innovation and science, technology and innovation studies and processes, this MOOC is tailored for policymakers interested in participating or leading initiatives in innovative policy making. As such, it aims to provide both solid background information and practical instructions on how to set up and conduct activities. The first week of this MOOC will discuss the need for innovation and new directions in policy making. The second week takes a closer look at the possibility that user centricity and co-creation offer in driving innovation forward. The subsequent three weeks follow the main steps of the iterative process of co-creation applied in Cisco's own experimentation, namely problem framing, 
ideation and prototyping, and implementation. This initial set of lectures will identify the limitations of current practices in policy making, the barriers, pitfalls, and difficulties calling for innovation in this field. Furthermore, we will also explore the role that co-creation plays in policy-making innovation and innovation itself. While Week 3 deals with problem definition and the involvement of stakeholders in the process, Week 4 investigates the co-design of solutions to then prototype and test them. Finally, the fifth and last week explores the realization of promising solutions moving from prototypes to their implementation and how to make them sustainable over time.